We would like to continue boarding and passengers in your eight. UFC Las Vegas coming up. <laughs> Can we duffel back? Yeah. One more, right? Doesn't move. Can you throw the backpack on? Are right, you ready to go? Ladies and gentlemen, begging from American Airlines. We're going to the UFC Apex right now. Get some training in. We just landed last night, so gotta. I retain a lot of water when I fly, so I gotta work out. Maybe use a sauna. We'll see. <laughs> How about Vegas? It's just, I love this place so much, but it brings the worst out of me. It's just bad. <laughs> Makes me want to go crazy. Here at the Apex. I'm B-lister, so they put me at the Apex, not the PI. But we'll get there. I could fit, I could squeeze into a small rash card. I've done it before because they're stretchy. I can't fit into a size 26 shorts, unfortunately. So, <laughs> yeah, we did. We're A listers now. So, we're ready to fucking, ready to go. We got kicked out of the Apex act, actually while we're here, but because um, the slap guys are coming in. But I'm not complaining about this. So we just got done. We got kicked out of the Apex because the slap team came in. So we uh, got upgraded to the BI. Uh, just did a light workout with uh, with Sonny and Mo because um, the other guys aren't here to train with yet. So they're all competing at Nogi Worlds. So John uh, gets in tomorrow. Uh, Luke gets in tomorrow. The rest of the guys get in tomorrow. Um, and we'll do the heavy training uh, tomorrow through the week and uh, all the way to the fight. So got the first session down. Now I got to do I have to go and do uh, a meet and greet with the fans. We're heads to the Park MGM right now, do a meet and greet with the fans, a little signing, a little podcast, then off to the gym. Thank you. 
hello. Oh my gosh. How crazy is it that I get to interview? I'll get you in the middle here, Gordon. Good to see you. There we go. Let me grab that. The King has arrived. Gordon Ryan has really changed the way I think submission grappling really operates in this this, this world. Not just this country, but you become, I mean, yes, there, there have been grappling phenoms and, and superstars before yourself, Gordon, but I think you really come into your own and sort of change the idea of what a submission grappling based athlete and fighter can do. Is that a fair assessment? Yeah, you know, um, you know, we came in and I started competing professionally six years ago and my whole thing was to take the sport from a participant based sport where most people who watch the sport participate in it to a spectator sport where, yeah. you know, we have people who never train Jiu Jitsu, are not going to train Jiu Jitsu, or just tuning in to watch, you know, me and other athletes compete because it's exciting. Um, and I think that we're, you know, between myself and the other athletes at ADCC, I think we're making a huge, uh, a very big leap towards that. Are we going to get a kick? Do you want me to do a jiu jitsu move? Or? <laughs> Just checking out for you. Sure? Because I know a few. Oh, really? Wait, the bitches. I'll be floating around. Here, I'll be here. Drinking something. <laughs> sounds good. Okay, we have our last gag. Oh, okay. I'm going to have a jump in soon. Hi, how are you? Okay, so here in the UFC Apex, right before training, had to get some makeup, get beautiful, and now we're gonna do a photo shoot for uh, for the event for Fight Pass. So for the MMA fan who's tuning into Fight Pass and they're seeing this invitational and, and don't really know what it's about, how would you describe your grappling style and what should they look out for today? Yeah, so for the average fan who may or may not know me, um, you know, my style of grappling is, is described, I think, best as relentless. Um, whether it's standing, whether it's bottom, whether it's top position, I'm constantly looking to put pressure on the guy and I'm constantly looking for control that leads to submission. Um, you know, my whole thing is, is to control a guy and then submit him. Um, because there's no strikes in our sport, um, so our su submissions for us is the equivalent to a knockout. Um, so everyone wants to see a knockout, right? Um, and in Jiu Jitsu, everyone wants to see a submission. So I'm constantly looking to put pressure on the guy, work to control, and then eventually towards a submission. And while you are the headliner of this card, there is an eight man tournament below you. and. Would you want to face any of those guys? Would you want to face the winner of the tournament? And and have you looked into them at all? Uh, yeah, so actually a fun fact, um, like 50% of the people who are in the tournament, um, they put in the tournament because they declined matches with me. Um, so uh, they asked a lot of those guys to fight me and they said no. Um, so yeah, I would like to compete against any of those guys. Hey. Chris. How are you? Gordon. Nice to meet you. Good. Sorry. Hold that. Arms crossed. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Yes, you, to you, guys. you too. Thank you. Thank you. My name is uh, Luke Griffith. I'm 21 years old and I'm training under John Danaher out of Austin, Texas. So uh, I, I woke up this morning to a phone call from Gordon telling me, uh, you know, can I get to the PI like in the next half an hour? I'm in the, I'm in the absolute bracket. He told me uh, Vinny had to pull out uh, for medical reasons and that Nicky Rod has uh, stepped up to fight him in the, uh, in the main event. And so they put me in the, into the tournament and I was like, absolutely, I'll be there. And uh, yeah, that was pretty much how I found out this morning. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I just came off a, a win at the Nogi World Championships at Brown Belt uh, in the ultra heavy division. Um, so that was quite a confidence booster coming into this. Uh, obviously, it's an absolute tournament. Uh, there's a lot of good guys in there, but uh, I'm really looking forward to going in there, putting on a show, and uh, hopefully getting the win. And, you know, I came out here to, to help Gordon prepare for this, so I've been training uh, every day anyway, uh, you know, and I just happened to be here. So uh, I feel 
more than ready to, to compete on one day's notice and uh, I'm excited. You know, it's, it's always tough to hear about an athlete struggling with a, with health, you know, and uh, weight cuts can be a difficult, difficult thing for someone to get through. Um, uh, I would have loved the, the, the rematch because Vinny did have a win over Gordon Ryan years ago, so uh, it would have been a fascinating rematch. So there was some disappointment, but also concern about Vinny, you know, he, uh, anytime you end up in hospital after a weight cut, that's, that's something you've got to be worried about. He's a tough guy. I'm sure he'll be back. They'll get a chance to, to match again in the future. Knowing Nikki's personality and knowing Gordon's personality, what can you tell us about the two athletes and how they deal with sudden changes like that? They're both very adaptable guys. Um, they're, they're so well trained that they can switch opponents very, very readily. They know their own game very well. They know how to adapt their game to a different kind of person. Um, also, they know each other very well. They, they, they were training partners for three years. So, um, uh, so it's a relatively easy adjustment for both of them to make. I don't wanna to go. go. I'm trying to make some imagines for a handsome guy. Yeah, it's me. The best part is it wasn't even close. Like it, it was one of those foot races where you know one guy starts pulling ahead and you're like, oh, he's got the advantage, but the other guy might catch up. No, I just kept pulling ahead. <laughs> Yeah, so I didn't think that Vinny was going to pull out the day before. I thought if he was going to pull out, he was going to pull out a week ago. Or, you know, not, I didn't think it was going to be 24 hours before the event. Um, but, uh, you know, he had he posted on a story that he had trouble making weight. And uh, you know, I said right from the beginning, I knew he was huge. He was like 275, 285, something like that. And they wanted him to make, I think, 235. And I said, you know, I fight guys that big all the time. Like, it's not really that big of a deal. Don't, don't make him cut weight. Um, but, you know, I think they wanted them to come in and, you know, train hard and be in shape. Um, so the weight limit for him was, was 235. I'm nowhere near 235 right now. I'm like 220, 225. I was 223 for the weigh-ins with all my clothes on. Um, so they wanted him to make 235, and I was like, man, I don't know if he's going to make that weight. Uh, so apparently he was like, you know, 250 or 260. He was heavy last night, 255 maybe. Um, and uh, he was trying to cut 20 pounds of water. He cut too much water, and then his kidney started shutting down. So he ended up in the hospital. So that's where we're at right now. Um, I was bummed that Vinny was out, and they said Nicky Rob was in, and I just got very, very, very happy. Um, I uh, very excited to compete against Nicky Rod again, um, and it's uh, a rule set that favors me, not him. It's 20 minutes EBI rules, um, and uh, we've done a lot of EBI rounds uh, in the gym, so um, a lot of ADCC rounds too. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm uh, I'm actually happy. I'm more excited about the match now. I'm more excited about this match than I was about the mini match. Uh, I think the change of opponent doesn't make a difference to me. It's a little bit different strategy, different game plan. Um, Nicky Rod's going to be tougher than Vinny, in my opinion. Um, harder to finish. Uh, on, harder to finish on the upper body, at least. Um, you know, he's game, he's in shape. Uh, he, he knows my game a little bit more than Vinny. Um, you know, for Nicky Rod, I think it changes a lot because uh, he went from being the favorite in the tournament to having no chance um, in beating me. So. Uh, you know, at least you know. Hopefully, he's getting paid more than he would have won to, to, to uh, that he would have got versus uh, doing the tournament. Um, but uh, you know, he knows his one day notice. He was preparing for these guys in the tournament. Now he has one day's notice to, to compete against me. It's going to be uh, it's going to be tough for Nicky Rod to uh, to adapt in that in that time frame. Do you guys want to do escapes or do you want to do fun stuff? Do you like, um, want to see submissions? Uh, I'll leave it up to you. Yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm the same way. I want to see you kick, it, kick their ass. Okay, I can, try, I can try to do a little bit of that. So the question is, how can I fight my limbs back to the inside finishes? I thought we'd be a talented person. I'm going to just turn into a football again. Yeah. <laughs> 
I mean, I shoot my knee in front like so, I joust for front knee position. And Luke, we both step our legs up and we're wrestling. And he goes to put me down with the wizard. I can't do it from here. Puppy, you're up. Yeah. <laughs> He's twice as big. <laughs> Hey, four piece of uh combo. Wait, whoa! Whoa! Did you guys see that? That was impressive. That was I didn't expect that. That was crazy. What did that feel like? Uh, <laughs> it literally just blew me in the air and just like, all oh about it. Yeah, ADCC finals of 40 minutes. Ooh. And uh, I've done no time limit matches where just you have to get a submission. Oh. My longest match ever was, I think, an hour and 45 minutes. Holy shit. Let me have to so good with this, with this movement. Oh no, I don't get a You know, it's the first move. All right. <laughs> Before you want some water, buddy. That's so impressive. That's that insane. Amazing. Oh, see, we got more. Was that full effort, Thor? Was that full effort? I mean, yeah, yeah, like, we're actually high. I yeah. hope so. <laughs> so, thankfully, my body feels okay, even though it's been humbled quite badly. It was fun, though. It was fun, though. It's a lot of fun and uh, makes you want to do more of it because, uh, uh, I don't know, I'm a very competitive guy, and when you when you have guys like that, obviously, like you, I'm going against some of the best guys in the world. Um, it's uh, I'm gonna look awful because they're the best, and you know I'm an amateur, but still at the same time, I'm a very competitive guy. I wanted to be able to hold longer, do something, but like the way they move, the way they uh, are able to get into the right position, and just throw me on the back is just it's it's incredible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Let's try that again. I feel like I, I was tapped out too fast. Fuck. <sighs> I think the getting what was last is most challenging. <sighs> I was surprised how well they were able to get into a good position and just throw them on the back. Like, like I thought with my strength and my uh, athletic background, I would be able to hold my position longer with my strength. But they are just so good technique-wise that there's just no way. I would have to dig deep into this sport for some time to be able to hold them for longer. All right, guys. Wow, what a fucking session. What a fucking session. So thank you, man. Thank you. I, I, I fucking appreciate you guys' times. And these beasts are competing tomorrow, <laughs> which is crazy. They're not uh, even out of breath. Yeah, that's just, uh, we're, we're pretty humble. <laughs> like, literally. <laughs> I was like, I feel 
Like, Billy went first. <laughs> you can see uh, after every round, there's just a rage building up. I just want to do more and more and more and more. But uh, it was nice, humbling, but at the same time, makes you want to learn more. Makes you want to come again, do more. Um, um, especially like getting to know you too. You guys are amazing human beings, nice, hum humble. And, uh, Hold on. <laughs> uh, I'm just talking to the truth. So, yeah, again, guys, thank In you person. so much. He actually is humble. Yeah. I figure so, I, I can't be worse than I am on social media, so you can't be disappointed if you meet me in person. That was amazing. Um, so rolling with those two guys, Martins and uh, Thor, uh, two of the world's strongest men, like they're literally the strongest men in the world, um, was probably the worst career decision I've ever had, rolling with those guys one day before a match. But it was an opportunity that may never present itself again, so I had to do it. Um, it was uh, terrifying. Um, they're both 340 pounds. I think Thor is like seven foot tall. Um, Martin's like six foot three, 340 pounds. Um, super strong, super explosive. Um, but at the end of the day, everything comes down to mechanics and biomechanics. Um, so uh, while they're strong, you know, I know how to do jujitsu. So definitely interesting. Um, they're held for 30 seconds to a minute and then the work rate kind of takes over. They get tired and then, uh, you know, I was able to take advantage of, uh, you know, knowing how to do jiu-jitsu, but um, it was super fun. Um, they, you know, they knew that they were gonna come in here and if they do jiu-jitsu with me, I'm gonna win a jiu-jitsu match. And if I tried to lift weights with them, I wouldn't even be able to do their warm-up weights. Um, so that's how, that's how it goes. But it was very, very fun. Um, super cool guys, very down to earth. Um, you know, very thankful to be here. And you know, I was happy they came. Um, so nothing but nice things to say about those guys. I love them.